what's up guys um double photography here um i'm glad to be back in front of the camera once again um the last time i posted a video on this channel was like um october 2021 so that's a long long time ago um but as you could tell probably from the title and the thumbnail and all that um i'll be doing an initial preview of um the nikon 70 to 180 f 2.8 so as you all may know, the Nikon made an announcement of um, the 70 to 180 f 2.8 lens, and um, when they made that announcement, I immediately knew I have to like place an order for one because there's a lot of advantages to owning this over the 70 to 200. First, obviously, is the price. This is like half the price of what you get the 70 to 200 um, S line lens for. So I knew immediately I was gonna like get this for myself. I placed an order. On the on the day of announcement, the day they announced it, I placed an order immediately. So um, I have the lens here, which is great. I'm probably one of the first <laughs> few um, people to have this. So for today, I'll be unboxing this lens and um, just giving it an initial preview. But subsequently, I will doing I will do a more thorough and in-depth review of this lens. I'll probably take it out and you know take some photos, some landscape, and hopefully um, some portraits to see how good the lens is, you know. And also, I will also compare it to some other lenses. I'll be comparing it to um, the 24 to 120 f4 S-line lens, which is a fantastic lens. I've been using this lens for a while now. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And I'm basically seeing what's inside for the first time just as you. So I'm equally as excited to see um, how the lens looks like and how it feels. So if you've noticed, I'm um, a big fan of the third party lenses. My last video on this channel was uh, me reviewing the my, um, the Tamron 70 to 200 f 2.8, which is a fantastic lens. So the lens has its own con, but then but that's that's a that's a discussion for another day. Yeah, so this is the big boy. I think I'm done with this. I could like throw this away. All right. So yeah, this is why we are here, and um, this is a really nice. Um, I've always loved the way Nikon um, boxes look. You know, gearbox and all that. The 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 yellow and black accent is really really um lovely and a nice packaging so yeah so yeah looks really great already so let me go ahead and um open this off to see what we have in there manos warranty one year warranty Yeah. We have the lens hood and um, and then we also have like what is this? I do not know what this is, but this looks funny. I felt this was the lens pouch, you know, to like put the lens in, but uh, yeah, I think this is the lens pouch, but this just doesn't look like the um, conventional lens pouch, you know, that comes in a cylindrical form. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting. Also, it also has the feel of um, a lens clothes, you know. I feel like you could clean the lens with this, um, kind of like fiber, this kind of like texture. Yeah, but this is interesting, you know. So I'm gonna put this to the side and to the real deal. Whoa, okay. It's actually way smaller than I thought it would be. Okay. So right out of the box, I noticed there's a lock button here, which is very interesting. You can see that yellow. Yeah, so I noticed there's a lock button on the on the lens, which is um, very interesting. So I'm going to unlock it and then zoom it out and zoom it in. Oh, this is this is really good. 
um, the throw for the zoom is very very minimal so you could easily go from 70 to 180 with just um, a few twists so yeah this is very very interesting and I think we also have um, we have just one um, ring here which I think is gonna be the focus ring so nothing much going on here unlike the other lenses with um, you know auto and manual focus switch with um, OLED screens and all that this is everything's kind of like watered down here I guess this is why um, this justified for the price of the lens you know it's a cheap lens and um, um, as compared to the other the 70 to 200 that has everything you know internal vibration vibration reduction and all that this doesn't have the vibration reduction uh, but I feel like optically this is going to hold on its weight and um, there shouldn't be much compromise being made in terms of picture quality and how well this is going to render um, um, images so I'm going to like go ahead and put this up on my um, camera and um, I, I want to see how well it's going to like balance out on my um, Z6 I feel it balances well it balances out really really well um, the zoom is very very smooth um, I've taken a few test shots on this and it seems to be really really holding up its own weight um, the pictures I've taken are very sharp and um, um, the the way the lens renders you know the, there's this 3d effect that comes with uh, the 70 to 200 that we all know about you know it's kind of like pops um, images and just it gives it kind of like 3d effect um, the few pictures I've taken just as at now um, seems to be giving that um, um, vibe okay so as far as the lens is concerned it's smaller than I expected it to be my idea of a 70 to 200 is a large you know a long um, bulky lens but this is very very um, you know um, handy it's way less bulky than what we are used to you know if you have to compare this to the Nikon 70 to 200 S lens and all other Nikon 70 to 200 this is a significantly um, smaller and more compact choice and in fact if you have to compare this to the Tamron um, 70 to 200 um, lens that I reviewed in my channel you know the last video I posted this is a more this is a way more um, smaller way more compact lens as compared to that so and I think the fact that this is a Nikon even though um, a lot of people believe it's a rebadged Tamron you know it's a Tamron in Nikon body which I think it is um, but the fact that it's carrying the Nikon um, brand name means there's probably be um, there's been a lot of like um, refinement done to, to the lens such that it's mixed up with um, Nikon standard so so I do not have any doubt that this lens is going to be a sharp lens it's going to hold up to um, the standard we all know for uh, we all know Nikon for so so yeah I'm excited I'm excited um, I'll be taking this out in the wild to to take some pictures take some landscape take some portrait see how good the bokeh is and um, you know just test the lens overall so that is all for now make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the um, forthcoming videos um, you know click the like button so the algorithm could pick up um, something positive from this video and probably to like encourage me to post more videos because yeah I need that encouragement right now so so yeah thank you guys for watching um, I've gotten a lot of like positive reviews and you know reply from from you all you guys have been amazing and um, yeah see you the next time